I am presenting in this video clip my current technique for anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction using the femoral intrafix on the femoral side. Uh, this is a case scenario for um, someone has had an anterior cruciate ligament injury. Um, you can see the empty lateral wall, the remnants of the anterior cruciate ligament is still attached into the uh, tibial footprint. The hamstring tendons have been harvested, both semitendinosus and the gracilis, and been repaired um, uh, into a, a fashion that would replicate the two bundles of the anterior cruciate ligament. Uh, we now move into the arthroscopy view of uh, determining the anatomic footprint of the anterior cruciate ligament. You can see the um, uh, uh, point that has been. Um, defined as a central point into the footprint uh, on the femoral side and the drill pin uh, follows that point uh, going through the medial portal. Uh, drill pin is then driven through the uh, lateral uh, uh, wall of the notch and uh, coming out above the lateral intermuscular septum. This is to be followed with a reamer that um, uh, has the same size of the quadrivial uh, hamstring graft and creating a socket in the femoral side uh, equivalent to 30 millimeter. Once the femoral socket has been prepared um, a suture uh, is passed through that femoral socket uh, and um, uh, kept inside the socket until the tibial side has been prepared. Now we are looking at uh, where we have created the uh, socket for the femoral insertion of the uh, graft and um, as the reaming happened through the medial portal we're making sure that the medial femoral condyle articular cartilage hasn't been scuffed or touched it while perform uh, the reaming of the um, uh, femoral socket. On the tibial side, we choose a central position within the anatomic footprint of the anterior cruciate ligament. Uh, this is usually uh, posterior to the um, uh, anterior form of the uh, uh, lateral meniscus. Uh, it's uh, slightly uh, shifted towards the um, uh, medial tibial spine that has some attachment of the fibers of the anterior cruciate ligament. Um, we drive the uh, pin uh, from outside in. And make sure that the drill pin is going to occupy a central position within the um, tibial remnants of the ACL. Uh, it's important to remember that if this drill pin is anterior or outside the anatomic placement of the anterior cruciate ligament, it can cause an impingement with the uh, superior part of the notch of the femur and um, uh, hinder, therefore, the range of movement. A tibial reamer then follows the drill pin to create a, a, a tibial uh, tunnel that matches the uh, size of the graft. Now the graft is pulled into position and we can see that the um, uh, shape of the graft is uh, like two bundles that replicates the anatomic um, arrangement of the um, uh, crochet ligament of an anteromedial and posterolateral bundles. Um, a guide wire is driven between the two bundles and then a sheath dilator and we see that there is a laser mark that tells us where to stop. Now the sheath dilator has been removed and the sheath itself is going to be inserted and it is um, a triangular in shape with the base of the triangle directed anteriorly and the uh, acute angle is driven between the two bundles of the graft. A 
screw now is being inserted within the um, sheath and compresses the uh, ACL graft against the walls of the femoral tunnel and this is the final orientation of the ACL graft um, uh, uh, as I said at the beginning we're trying to replicate the anatomy and you, you can see the um, uh, orientation of the graft the two bundles that have been uh, created the tension of the graft and I hope this video has shown some of the uh, uh, techniques and tricks for ACL reconstruction and my current practice uh, for uh, this operation.